Okay, welcome to Mission Control. And the mission is get that little piece of hair out of my mouth so I can speak clearly. And I, I'm mapping on page two all these different knobs to these different knobs on the, or the, those eight, the block of the eight there, for each color group which signifies each channel. And then at the bottom here I've got effects buttons on and off. So that turns the effects for the color group on and off. And to control each of these, I'm actually using the factory templates. And when you hold that down there, you get eight different sets. You can see it's on number seven, because you're going to program the, the dark blue there, the seven along next to the purple, in a moment, to control those knobs. But under this other template, you've got 16 different, eight templates under user, and eight templates under factory, but I'm going to call that FX. So I'm going to control eight of those. 24 knobs for the eight different tracks and then the user I've already got that set up for my reverb uh, delay that's on that one also tornado effects on that sampling um, loop there boom, 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 boom. so that loop plays into these loops so I can mangle that with tornado and other effects on that channel and then record that into these loops and also obviously drag and drop these loops into that one to mangle it up and sample it resample it back into here same the size of the slicer as well i've also got this one for the for the volume on there that one's set now to the tempo volume and the speed of the tempo which is cool <coughs> but right let's go through the mission of mapping these so press the little right button there and then we click on that one you can see there's no values there at the moment so on the blue we go value change Adjust effect parameter, target, tornado blue, control one, boom, done, next. Now, now you can see the repetitive <laughs> nature of setting all these up as control two, right. I've had to do this for all of the colour groups. <laughs> Control 4. Oof. Value change. I um, can't even read as fast as I'm actually doing it. Oh man. now controlling tornado but now I need the correct buttons to control that so I go to factory settings factory or like FX bank on number seven that is correct now up here on loopy pro you press that button there you go to MIDI learn now this when I press the control that you want you can see I've already done those ones I'm gonna press the widget onto control now my MIDI controller that screen comes up and it says listening for events so I want this one to be the first one from there so I test it do done and pickup mode needs to be on because that way I can see the knob set but 
about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock then. That dial is set all the way up there, so now this won't affect the dial until you hit and it picks up at the same value, which is really cool, so you don't get jumping around. That's the first one done. Right, repeat, midi learn. Hit the next one. Twist the one you want to use. Make sure you click pickup mode. Next one. <laughs> Boom. Click. Next one. Boom. Click. Number five. Dunk. Dunk. This is harder than it one handed. <laughs> I keep having to jump over to the controls, which is a pain. Instead of just going along to the next knob with my hand. Right, and the last one. There, done. Right. Now they should all work. A twist. Twist them a knob rather. There we are, that's that done. Now to open the FX up. Right, well, actually just turn it on or oh, oh, not program at all. Right, back on user, turn the effects track effects on off. And then there is mapped. Now I go to that to factory, make sure I'm a number seven. I want to MIDI learn that to number uh, that, so I'll hit, no, that's the track effect on and off, so if I click that with my finger, number seven, and go new, action press, yes, just for on and off, yeah, that one there, there we are, and then I also go new, long press which opens up the page of Tornado or the user interface of Tornado so listening for events I want that on that one so hold done close now So turn it on off. That works. No, no, no. I'm the user. Go to factory. If I hold that down, that opens up the user face. And then when I turn these knobs now, I know that's turning each one of Tornado's effects on that group. I turn it on. I know that on number seven <coughs> will be working. For some reason that lights on when you first map that template button. But anyway, there we are. That's um yeah. That's a bit of a mission but it's so cool. I'm so glad I've got all that control. Um so yeah, really mash up the each loop and then be able to play over to it because previously I was only really using the output effects and when you do that anything else you play live gets mangled as well so uh, yeah here's to some better looping one loop